fame is however very fleeting. Let me ask you a question. What can you tell me about your grandparents? So, great, great, great grandparents? Unless you've studied this, unless you're in a family that actually actively tells you their history, most of us have no concept of our great grandparents. That's how long your fame is going to last. Winning at life, for most people, is succeeding based on whether you decide or whatever you decide success means. What does winning mean in the Christian context? If you want to win at life, you have to start with a biblical world. To see life through the eyes of Scripture. It also means that we believe God's promises about the next life. That's another big difference. When you are, have a worldview that is based on culture, life ends at death. Well, you say, well, that's obvious. Duh! <laughs> but, you know, from the biblical worldview, it doesn't end at death. You have to take eternity into account. Okay? It also means we believe God's promise that His rewards are vastly better than those that the world offers. It also means we will be Jesus' disciples, His learners, His, his apprentices, His followers, willing to learn and to pay the price of following Jesus. Just as an athlete pays the price of pain and the discipline of exercise to achieve his goal. There is pain and exercise involved in following Jesus. And here we, we split ourselves apart from prosperity teaching, which still says to you basically, the kingdom is now, and if you come to Jesus, you will have all the rewards now. The world is not the only place where we play false or fake games, sadly. They teach that we can make God our servant to give us the worldly success we demand of Him. This is not a biblical worldview. The Bible teaches that true success, real winning at life, comes from serving God, not making God grant our wishes. Our goal then is to obey God rather than make God obey us. For those who have no faith, no expectation of eternity, no belief, that we have a purpose outside of ourselves, a purpose that goes beyond mere, merely to survive for as long as possible. The way of setting short-term goals and looking for the honor of their fellow men is ultimately all that gives meaning to life. For the believer, life itself is planned by God, adding meaning and purpose to each individual's life and ensuring that the finish line on earth is really just the beginning of something far greater.